good morning in today's class we will be seeing about thermal aspects of machining the power consumed in machining is largely converted into heat near the cutting edge of the tool this causes the temperature of the tool chip and workpiece to rise this can influence the properties of work being work material being machined as well as the effective life of the cutting tool there are three sources of heat generation in metal cutting that is primary zone or shear zone secondary zone or tool chip interface tertiary zone or tool work interface so let us see this figure okay this is the work piece material and this is the chip formation and this is the tool there are three zones possible one is primary zone so primary zone secondary zone and tertiary zone whenever the tool comes in contact with the workpiece that is when the tool is move against the surface of the workpiece it is definitely going to remove the workpiece by shearing process that is by metal shearing process the workpiece is going to be removed by the cutting tool edge the workpiece is going to be removed by the cutting tool edge when the cutting tool edge remove the workpiece from the material there will be a interaction at a particular place let me define this particular zone this zone let me define this particular zone where work piece and cutting tool edge interacts that zone as primary zone or shear zone due to this interaction friction will takes place between work piece and the cutting tool edge due to this friction more amount of heat is generated between the cutting tool edge and the work piece material okay this leads to increase in the temperature of the tool as well as the workpiece if this heat is not removed it will affect the performance of the tool as well as the properties of the workpiece material let us let us consider the next zone that is the secondary zone that is called as secondary zone or tool chip interface uh, one more thing large amount of heat is being generated in the primary zone around 80 to 85% of heat is generated from this zone next zone will be secondary zone or tool chip interface this zone is called as secondary deformation zone in which the heat is generated due to friction between the chip and the tool face so wherever the chip is going to be formed it is going to be it is going to travel over the rack face of the tool so where from where the chip is going to form it is going to travel or slide over the rake face of the tool so due to the interaction between the chip and the rake face of the tool large amount of heat will be generated due to the friction large amount of heat will be generated the heat produced in this zone is carried out by chip and rake face there is a chip and the rake face of the tool so this zone will be called as the secondary zone or tool chip interface where the tool and chip get interacts around 15 to 20 percent of heat is generated in this zone next zone will be the tertiary zone or tool workpiece interface so this is the zone where flank face of the tool and the workpiece okay will be in interaction so a uh, minute interaction will be happened between the flank face of the tool and the workpiece so the contact area is between the flank face of the tool and the workpiece heat is generated due to friction between the flank face of the tool and the workpiece when the clearance angle when the clearance angle is not sufficiently provided under the tool then the heat generated in this area will be more so the clearance angle is not provided then large amount of heat can be generated okay so this heat generated is called as the burnishing okay this process is called as the burnishing where minute amount of heat is generated due to the interaction between the flank face of the tool and the workpiece so these are the three zones okay so around 80 to 80 percent of heat will be generated in the primary zone 15 to 20 percent of heat will be generated in the secondary zone and 1 to 3 percent of heat will be generated in the tertiary zone so what are the disadvantages of heat generation it affects the wear of the cutting tool can induce thermal damage to the machine surface causes dimension errors in the machine surface so how the temperature can be removed the temperature in metal cutting can be removed 
by application of cutting fluids application of coolants change in cutting conditions by reduction of cutting speed selection of proper cutting tool geometry okay thank you